What's up, comic book junkies? Here to do another comic book haul. Toys, DVDs, Silver Age, Modern Age, Golden Age, and if you can hear, <coughs> bit sick, but I've been itching to do this uh, haul. Anyways, this was my birthday weekend. My family celebrated, so what did I get for my birthday? birthday? What a night tiger comic! Brother got me this hat. My sister got me this shirt. My daughter got me this Batman knife. They know I'm knife obsessed. As long and all the same as comic books, love knives, guns, anything that goes boom or cuts. Anyways, got that. It's so cool. Thought that was cool. My daughter got that for me. My son got this for me. The Batman '66 bendable figures. This is a very cool. This is kind of stuff I like to put on my toy shelf. Just this odd, weird stuff. So yeah, got that. My brother got me this. Sonic the Hedgehog socks. I don't know if I can wear these. I got a reputation to uphold, but uh, I think because of his love, I'm going to give it a shot and put them on with my shorts and run around in public. What else? Oh, my daughter got me this. So this is where I'm going to go next weekend before the big comic book sale that I'm going to. All dollar books in the back room. You buy 50 for a dollar, anything after that's 50 cents. And if you spend 50, you get free $50 from the front back issues. And he sells his tickets. 15 people get in a do uh, an hour before the real sale starts. So I bought an extra ticket for my wife. So I can just pull books and hand them to her and just go through boxes so quick. Um, Dollar Tree. If you got a Dollar Tree near you, they got a bunch of DVDs in. Check this out, the Godzilla cartoon from the, uh, I think it's early 80s. How cool is this? Not at all! I don't know which one this is yet, I haven't watched it. I remember watching Godzuki as a kid. But yeah, check out your Dollar Tree. They had a bunch of uh, animated movies too, but I had them all already, so I just grabbed the TV shows. The New Adventures of Batman. Uh, 16 episodes with the voice of Burt Ward and Adam West. So cool, dude. And then this one. For a Bach man, Super Friends, season two, every every episode. So yeah, get to your Dollar Tree before they get out. Unfortunately, they only had one of each of mine, or I would have bought more. Okay, into the comic books. Here we go, here we go. Bada boom, Golden Age, Jack, Simon and Jack Kirby. Good girl cover. It's a low grade. I got it super cheap. Very tough book to get. I've been trying to get an issue of this for quite a while. And they just, they just never come up for sale. So when I saw this one, I think I paid $12 ship for it. I was all over it like a, like something. This I just got out of the dollar bin. But it was such a high grade 1975 issue of Batman with Dick Gordano cover. Carrie Bates on scripts. Kurt Swan on the interior. And it's just like a 9.8 book for a buck. I'll take that all day. Picked up my third copy. West Coast Avengers 45. You know what this is. First White Vision. There's talk of him. This is the vision that may be in the Wanda Vision TV series. On Disney Plus. Streaming service. And this is all John Byrne. Cover art. Interiors. Scripts. Everything. I think you still find those in the dollar bin. I think I paid like two fifty for it. This ain't a key of anything, but it's a Bronze Age Avengers number one fifty five, January nineteen seventy seven. A Jack Kirby cover with Doctor Doom. I'll take that. This was two fifty also, and it's a high grade copy. The first opening line is Captain America and Iron Man. Iron Man are prisoners of Doctor Doom. So then all the Avengers show up. This is Jerry Conway scripts. George Perez does layouts, and then Pablo Marcos does finishing pencils on this. 
Now, this book I got off eBay. It claimed it was an 8.0. I opened it up. It has an inch cut through the cover and like three or four pages. And it's got a bunch of spine ticks. So I messaged the seller. I said, I'm sending this book back to you. It's more like a 3.5. He refunded my money. He said, just keep the book. This is a key. This is the first time Blade discovers he's immune to vampirism. And because he is part vampire. So this is Marv Wolfman and Gene Colon on the art. April 74. Be careful with your key collector. They uh, listed this as Gene uh, Gil Kane on art in the interiors. So just be careful that knowing that they're not always accurate on their information. I uh, bought this off eBay. They had it listed for 10 The seller shot me uh, $8, a, reduc a reduction by $2. I just thought it was so cool that it, the Atomico word, Atomic, on the cover. So I got it. It was like twelve fifty shipped. Nice grade, too. It's like a higher mid-grade. Another Golden Age Good Girl Crime book. I paid too much for this thing. Way too much. Well, like 10 bucks too much because of the grade. But I have it. So there it is. This is Wanted Comics number 15. September 1948. It's cool, though. I can't wait to read it. Another, this one's Atlas Comics from 1953, August, number 18. Another good girl. Spy Cases by Atlas Comics, number 18. I didn't pay a whole lot for this either. It was another eBay purchase. These are tough to find, these books in this series. If I, if I got a glare over here, it's because I'm watching uh, King of Comic Dome and the Superman live show. Another crime book from 1953, November number 5, volume 3, Crime Detective. This time, the good girl has a green dress. Pretty cool. I had to look this up because you see the pink word bubbles. I thought maybe someone colored that in with a marker, but that's how they're supposed to be. But yeah, that's a really cool. Nice grade. This thing's a high grade, too. Got it cheap. Oh, where did I get this? Um, oh, this is from my LCS. I think I only paid like eight bucks for this. Uh, Strange Suspense Stories, number 77, October 65. Of course, Captain Adam and, and Steve Dicko on art. So, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Nice copy, too. And then this book is another... This is from my comic book shop, but I've been looking at this Golden Age book for several years, and they always want $100 for this. So when I saw this copy for 30 I went ahead and grabbed it. It's a one-shot from December 1945, Mary Comics. Um, this is an Art Seymour cover. This is by Carlton Comics. I tried to do some research on that company. Couldn't find too much on them. But it does have a sister book that I'm trying to get called Zoom Comics. So this cover, this is Captain Milksop on the cover. And he doesn't appear in this book anywhere. So that's kind of weird, ain't it? Another My Comic Shop purchase. This was $15 shipped. I was like, what? Now, it said that this was a 0.5 because it had uh, water damage, moisture damage. It had mold in it. And I got it. I couldn't find any mold. I pressed out all the water waves. So you can see there's no staining on it or nothing. I sh I'm sure this book is like a 4.5. But my comic shop, is they tend to undergrade, which I like. So after pressing this out, it does have a little bit of rusty staples. There is a touch of something on the inside back cover. They probably said was mold, but it doesn't. It looks like mildew. And with the with the heat on this book, anything that was in here, if there was mold, it's dead. But this is just a beautiful. And this is Charlton. Charlton only had printed four issues of Blue Beetle from number, I think, eighteen to twenty-one. And this is the last issue that Charlton did. 
Very tough to find these books, especially in really a decent grade. Okay, on to some Marvel Bronze Age goodness. I think I paid $10 for this high-grade copy. Avengers 111. First time that Black Widow joins the Avengers. May 1973. Steve Englehart scripts. John Ramita Sr. on interior art. I read this. Was good, of course. There's rarely a bad Marvel Bronze Age issue. Speaking of which, picked up a high gray copy of Marvel Premiere number 18, October 74. This is the second part of the first origin of Iron Fist. Beautiful Gil Kane cover. I picked up a bunch of books for my LCS and uh, made them a deal. He said, how about 45? And I said, how about 40? That's all I had. He said, okay, I'll do that. This was one of the books I picked up. Now, he had $20 on this, sold it to me for 10 This is the uh, Volume 2 of Vision and Scarlet Witch miniseries, number 12. This is the first appearance of their sons. She gives birth in this book. So, first appearance of Thomas Shepard. Later becomes Speed, and then first appearance of Billy Kaplan, and he becomes Wiccan. Steve Inglehart, Richard Howell on the art. Very cool. Been looking for this, so I paid 10 I figured I'd find the dollar bin, but he also had this. Picked this up for $2.50. I remember when this book was really, really hot before the um, movie came out. Uh, number 12 of Volume 3 of Avengers, June 2011 and Iron Man Wilds the Infinity Gauntlet for the first time. Michael, Brian Michael Bendis on the scripts, John Romita Jr. on the art. Very cool. Now, Metarog, which I call the professor of comics, King of Comic Dumb Lawrence, they're always showing their treasuries. And Silver Age Dave also. And some other YouTubers. So they've got me hooked. I picked up my second treasury. Number two, Fantastic Four, 1975, I believe. Really nice copy. I don't want to pick these up unless they're really, really good copies. This thing looks really nice. Of course. They had the Superman vs. Uh, Spider-Man, but he wanted $50 for it. And it was really nice shape, but I'm like, nah, I'm not going to pay that. Okay, last three books in the haul. Some Gil Kane goodness, Iron Man 52, November 1972. I just read this the other night. Really good. Of course, you're not going wrong with Bronze Age Marvel. And it's a high-grade copy. The reason I'm, I'm really just trying to buy high-grade copies now is because that way is a way for me to limit what I put in the collection because I got so many comics. So another high-grade copy of Iron Man number 14, June 69. I think I paid $12 for this first appearance. And The Death of Night Phantom, Archie Goodwin, and Johnny Craig on art. Now, if you know who Johnny Craig is, he did a lot of work for the EC Horror titles. So pretty cool to have this issue. This is not a high-grade copy, but by any means, it's not super low-grade. I paid a lot of money for this. Got it, finally. Iron Man number one. And got this thing in. <coughs> it looked like the pictures, so I was happy. I figured I may have paid a little bit too much, but doing a little bit of research, I think I did right around what it's worth. And I opened the book up, and there's a three-inch tear in the story page. So you can imagine I was not happy about that. So then I contacted him, and I said, you know, we need to do something about this, or I might return the book. He said, how about if I refund you $50? And I was like, good deal. So happy to have this. I paid about $200 for this copy. So happy for that. So that's it. That's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye, Tiger. Peace, brothers and sisters.